Welcome back to Instables, everyone. So I'm going to go over to you guys on the S&P 500 so you guys can see exactly where we may be headed next. Now, we have breaking news today, and I'm going to tell you guys why I think this is very important. Russia's defense ministry says countries which use their airfields to supply Ukraines with fighter jets may be regarded as participants of the conflict. Now, putting that along with the news earlier this week, with Russia mentioning that anybody that does participate in Ukraine's defense will be held accountable. And the reason why this is very important is because a lot of people have been mentioning over the weekend that Russia's military has been making a terrible effort and that could lead to a de-escalation. Well, as you guys can see here, Russia very much does not seem to be de-escalating. They could be escalating soon. So we're going to keep that in mind here in the market. Now, before I do get started again, if you happen to be looking for intraday perspective breakouts, breakouts within the same day, which have been most of the breakouts that we have been looking at again, swings and longs have been pretty choppy, but intraday will always be there. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. Now, jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the S&P 500. Again, this is the SPY. As you guys can see, we have been getting rejected just below our 20 moving average while our 20 moving average is below our 50, showing us that we still could continue on down. And as you guys can see here on our MACD, we also have our EMA lines still below our MACD, showing us that we still could continue on down. Now, as you guys can see here on the RSI, we are not oversold. It does show us that we still could continue on down since we are pointing down here. Again, we were oversold. We had our bounce, but we did get rejected just below our 20 moving average, showing us that we still could continue on down. So we're going to be careful. If I was playing to the downside, I would be looking at our Fibonacci lines here. As you guys can see, we have our 0 0.382 Fib level that we were bouncing off of on Friday. So if we do drop down below that level, I would be looking for an intraday continuation on down. Again, that would be the level because again, we did have previous lows here and I would be looking to see if we can drop down below those lows to see if we can continue on down here. And that would be the move down that I would be playing into. Now we are going to look at our volume here. As you guys can see, we have an increase in sell volume compared to the prior day. And again, in my opinion, that was very much so because we had uncertainty leading into a weekend. So we still could have a bounce here above 427.50 and have a continuation up if we can jump back over our 20 and we can get our 50 to moving average to continue on below our 20 to give us that continuation on up. Now we are going to look at our volume here. As you guys can see, we have some sell volume coming in. It does not mean that we can't have a large increase in buy volume. There is a lot of talks with Russia that could turn out to a de-escalation. So if that does happen, then I would be looking to see if we are going to increase in buy volume, break above our previous buy volume points to make sure we do have a continuation and bounce off of our 427 level here. So I would be looking at which news we do get within the next 12 hours leading into pre-market. Again, a lot of times we have been seeing news before pre-market because again, Ukraine runs on a different time than we do. So they're going to have news coming out at a different time. And then a lot of times the market has been very choppy leading into the end of the day because a lot of people have been afraid to hold overnight. So we will be looking for a de-escalation to have a bounce back here. Again, I would want to see if we can bounce back over our 20 ring average and then bounce back over 447.50 to get that stronger move up. And the reason why I mentioned 447.50, as you guys can see, we have our 0.76 Fib level, which would give us that larger gap up here. So that is why I want to break over 447.50 to have that continuation up. So the two plays here, which has been the play for the last few days, as we have been consolidating just under our 20, would be to bounce back over our 447.50 level. Or if we are going to continue on down, I would be looking for that break below 427. Now, something to consider here is if we do not get an increase in fear, meaning as much fear as we had when Russia was originally going to attack Ukraine, which was this level here, then in my opinion, we can easily bounce back. Um, again, we do have a lower rate hike than we were going to be expecting. We have a 25 point rate hike that Powell did mention over the week compared to a 50 point base rate hike, which in my opinion could turn very bullish if again, Russia does start to deescalate and they have a lot of reasons to deescalate. But again, with a person like Putin, there's no telling what might happen. We very much cannot underestimate what Putin can do. Again, he can use his nuclear weapons at any point in time and very much has his nuclear weapons at high alert, he mentioned a couple weeks ago. So again, we're going to keep an eye on this news, making sure we do not get as much fear as we did have when Russia did initially attack Ukraine. And again, just making sure we do watch our volume. Now, even though we did have a red day on Friday, we still had major breakouts in the Instabils room. We had a major breakout with INDO. Um, there were more breakouts like MXC, CEI, IMPP, many other energy and oil names. I mentioned INDO and CEI's chart update yesterday. I wanted to go over MXC with you guys. A lot of people were curious if MXC is going to continue in the comments yesterday. So I wanted to go over this with you guys. 
So as you guys can see, we have been breaking into all-time highs, but I'm going to jump into the five minute with you guys here. As you guys can see, again, we have been respecting our 20 wing average. As long as we do continue to respect our 20 wing average, then we could continue on up. As you guys can see, we have a flag here that could be playing out to the upside. So we will keep an eye on MXC um, going into pre-market to see exactly what kind of momentum we do have. If we do hold this flag going into pre-market, then we could have a continuation. But again, has been on quite the run. I wouldn't exactly expect a major runner to continue on, but again, if energy and oil continue to stay hot, we see major moves in pre-market like INDO, CEI, IMPP getting volume, then we could see a continuation here. So I definitely would keep an eye on this flag to see if it does turn into a bull flag rather than breaking down. Now, if we do break down again, we do have major spikes to the downside. And that is why I would say be very careful here with MXC um, because again, it's very volatile. If we don't have volume coming in with other energy and oil plays, like I said, then I definitely would be careful here with MXC. Watching all the oil names um, would be a good indication on what we would see here on MXC in my opinion. Especially with no news, we want to make sure we do get volume with all of the energy and oil names because if we do have a continuation on down with multiple other energy and oil names, then we could have a pullback here on MXC. So I definitely would be careful. But jumping back into the S&P with you guys, as you guys can see overall, we have been creating lower lows and we could be possibly creating lower highs and that could mean that we could be continuing on down here so i definitely would be careful looking to see if we can hold our 427 level and again if we do bounce back from 427 and bounce back over 435 then i would be looking for that break at 447.50 now again with that said if you are looking for intraday perspective breakouts meaning breakouts within the same day go to instables.com in the description below and only for 15 dollars a month you guys will never miss a breakout alert today again and all of you instables that have been coming over and supporting the channel all of you instables that have been coming over from the room and supporting the channel i appreciate one of you guys much love to everyone you guys and again if you guys do like this video it does help others find it and it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in pre-market